What's going on guys? This is Chris back with another video. Hey, today we're good learning opportunity for not only you, but myself as well. Today I'm going to be teaching myself while teaching you guys how to put in a new Linko actuator. Uh, going to do it yourself project, try and fix it. So let me show you what the problem is. So here, as you can see, you got a Linko trim tab. Clay, go ahead and hit the uh, up and down button on this uh, trim tab. So this is what your trim tab should do. Down. Now go up, play. There you go. So, our problem is, ours will not go back up on this side. Let's go check out. You guys can see here, we have a sad trim tab. <laughs> She's all taken apart. So, what we did was the wire that was right here. You don't have to do this, but we just cut it. So this was the old trim tab wire that's on the inside this part right here would be feeding out of this hole and then it would be connected to the actuator and then this part right here would be connected inside this hatch down there and that would give it power so we already got this taken out we can throw that to the side don't litter people it's a bad thing all righty so this is the inside or a pathfinder back here is where the original wire ran there's a hole way way back there that i cannot reach but the wire fed through there came down if you can see these uh clips right here you got one right there one right there the wire ran they were zip tied and then how it was set up the old wire would connect right here. Now the wire is way too long to just go ahead and plug in. So what they did was they ran the wire down, all these wires here, and then they bent it, fed it back through those wires, and then plugged it in. Where'd it go? Then plugged it in to this one right here. This thing cost me uh, like 250 bucks. You can get them. You get them in a pair for like 500. This, the one that comes on my boat, is the standard actuator. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, run this wire. Let's go. So don't feed it into one of these guys. Feed it into the the correct hole. Find the hole, Clayton. Find the hole. Ooh, got it. She's in there. Got him in. Got it in. All right, so Clay has fed the wires through. Let's go ahead and jump up here. All right, guys, so this is the hard part. Those wires, can you move those wires back and forth, Clay? I think you guys can see that. They're right back there. We gotta grab those somehow, some way. Just when you think that uh, you figured everything out or you thought it was gonna be a quick installation, it turns out that uh, we've run into another problem. Stephanie is pushing the previous wire through. Is it feeding through there? Um, no. no. To see if we could feed it through, because we're trying to feed this new wire in, and it's not going through at all. Um, so we're trying to figure out what is the trick to get it through there. Yeah. It just bunches the wire up. All right, guys, so we finally got this wire fed through the hole. As you can see, what we had to do now is we took this plastic piece was just on there like so and then we were trying to feed that wire through the original hole well we had to take this plastic piece and remove it from the hole because all this 5200 which is all around these screws and all around this area is it was holding it on there and then it was blocking the wire from going through because we also got this rubber like o-ring or gasket looking thing which sits in the hole to keep water from obviously going in. We actually took some uh, Teflon, so plumber's tape, and we wrapped it around the end of the wire, which is now in the hall, to condense it down, make it really, really tight. We tightened it down, and then we took some WD-40, sprayed it on the wire for a little bit of lubrication, or we finally fed it right through the hall just with the WD-40 and Teflon tape. So now, we got this all figured out. Actuators hanging from the boat. So what I'm gonna do is take you guys back up here and get her wired in. All right guys, so now we're back on top of the boat. As you can see, here's the plumber's tape or the Teflon that we used to condense the wire down so it could feed through that small little hole. 
here we have our two wires and these actually are not negative and positives these are up and downs so i didn't know that so you can actually no matter which way you put these in uh, your trim tab is still going to work but it might go the reverse way you know if you install these backwards then your up is going to be your down and your down is going to be your up so make sure you hook the wires up in the correct order we're going to take it and here's our quick uh connector the black is going to go on the left here so into the number two slot you just slide that in like so and it's stuck on something actually let me you gotta i think you gotta take this out so you slide it in there until you hear that click i don't know if you guys can hear that but it makes a little clicking noise and then i'm going to take this white one and slide it through oh there it goes and it clicked into place so as you can see the two prongs here they come up to the end and then you take the cap that goes on top of them and you pop that into place all right so now that we got our quick disconnect on so what i'm going to do here is take these this is the original or this is this is what runs through the bottom of the boat up to the actual uh switch itself so you know take this come on now really chris and i did put them in backwards no big deal while we're down here we're just gonna switch it all right so now i got the wires in the right uh spots i actually put them in the right holes the only thing was is i was doing it upside down to begin with and i didn't look at the connector so it was the wrong way so what i do here is take this plug this in and you'll hear it snap all right guys so now that i got this connected like i was saying is technically our trim tab could work perfectly fine but this was the actuator was not the original problem but we went ahead uh, and continued with installation on that so essentially once this is plugged in your actuator should work and you can install it from the outside but we got to clean up these wires and put it back uh, to the way it was <sighs> guys I, i'm getting so frustrated right now these trash zip ties check this out guys see that i've used like six different zip ties and they just snap <sighs> look all right guys we are back to the boat a couple days later we didn't have all the pieces that we need i was under the assumption that when i got the actuator i was told that it came with all the hardware that you needed which is true if you buy the tab the tab with the actuator it comes with everything so i had to go back home and get the old hardware that we took off so here we got the hanging actuator looks all sad all we got to do is scrape this 5200 off or get rid of this clean this area up fill it with 5200 and uh go ahead and mount everything All right, so here we got some 5200 adhesive sealant by 3M. Very standard for all your boats whenever they're uh, filling holes. Securing the bolts and nuts and making sure your boat don't sink and the nuts don't come out. I got a majority of the area uh, cleaned up. So as you can see, you still got some leftover 5200, but it's a lot of it's gone. It, I mean, I really flattened that out. It was bulging. They put so much in there. I'm gonna go ahead and then apply this 5200 all around the cord before I feed it all the way through. Also I'm gonna dab it in each one of these screw holes. So before we put the screws in, we're basically filling the hole with the 5200. So we're gonna push this wire on through. Try and push that rubber. 
gasket in there the best we can. This 5200 guys, you can wipe off. Um, just give yourself, you know, you don't want it on your hands too, too long. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Gotta work that 5200 in there. I really gotta take that off. Man, they really make you take these out. There we go. Push it on through. Got our nut. All right guys, so as you can see, we got everything installed up there. Still got to clean up that area. Got everything installed down here. All we got to do is put these two screws and uh, bolts back in and we're going to be good to go. Finally, we have got the trim tab installed. That took way more time than uh, I thought, that's for sure. But that's all right. That's how it goes. Good learning experience. Now I know how to put on a trim tab actuator. Like I said in the beginning of the video, turns out that that is not the official problem, but we went ahead and went through with the installation. And uh, so we, we got a brand new, brand new arm there. So we're good to go. I haven't told you guys any of the story, but uh, long story short, the boat has to go to the marina because uh, the trailer needs to go get worked on. Well, I couldn't put the boat at a marina because the trim tab was stuck in the down position and in order for them to get the boat out of the water, they lift it up and they said it would break the trim tab right off or break the fiberglass. So that fixes one problem. Once that 5200 cures up, we're gonna go put the boat at the marina, take the trailer in to get maintenance and uh, hopefully finally go do some fishing because man, me and Josh are dying to get out on the water. It's just been too long, haven't done enough fishing, and that's not a good thing. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you pound that thumbs up button, comment down below. You ever had a problem like that with the trim tab? You ever replaced the actuator? Do you know what's wrong with my trim tab? I, I wanna know, so comment down below. If you guys made it this far, why haven't you subscribed? You made it this far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Josh looks like a dead fish right now. He's not wearing salty scales. He's not wearing any fishing attire. Let's get him in some fishing attire. Hey guys. So we can go catch some fish. Peace guys.